Okay, this is the reproductive system of the male cat. Uh, I'm gonna start down uh, towards the bottom here, which you're looking at there, that uh, little sac. Uh, that's the left scrotum. Over here is the right scrotum. So what was inside those? The testes. So there's the right testes up on the thigh over here. We took them out so you could see them better. Uh, and there's the left testes. Uh, right here, that's the head of the penis, okay, or glans penis. That's the base of the penis right there. Uh, that little swollen area there is where we see Cooper's gland or bulbal urethral glands, and then there's the shaft of the penis right there. So that whole structure there is the penis. Going into the penis, this is the urethra. The urethra comes out of the urinary bladder, so what I'm grabbing up here with my fingers there, that's the urinary bladder. Let's go back to the testes. Uh, and so this is the right testes. This is the spermatic cord. Uh, the spermatic cord is going to be carrying the sperm, and you'll be learning about that in the lecture part of this class. Uh, now, what you can see next is that the spermatic cord has to get through the uh, peritoneal, uh, uh, peritoneum, the parietal peritoneum, and then the visceral peritoneum inside there. It's got to get inside. Uh, How does it get inside there? The inguinal canal. And when it gets to the other side, uh, what you will note is that the blood vessels and the uh, vas deferens come out on this side. And I can grab the vas deferens over here, and you can see as I wiggle this back and forth, that's the vas deferens, okay? The vas deferens, also in some books called the ductus deferens. In medicine, we like to refer to it as the vas. So that's the right vas deferens. Uh, the blood vessel has joined it right there, so you can see the uh, spermatic artery and the spermatic vein is with it. Uh, if we follow that all the way up, you will see that the spermatic artery and vein came out right where the vas is, okay, through the inguinal canal. And here is the spermatic vein, the right spermatic vein, going into the inferior vena cava. The right spermatic arteries are going across it, and it's going to be headed towards the uh, abdominal aorta. On the left side, here's your right uh, left testes, your left spermatic cord, uh, then your spermatic cord going, uh, finding its way into the pelvic cavity through the inguinal canal. And I, I was able to complete the same thing if I hold this, uh, the peritoneum, and you can see the vas deferens and the spermatic vein and artery moving in through the inguinal canal. Uh, there's the vas. Uh, there's the spermatic artery. Spermatic vein was so tiny, by the way, uh, it couldn't be seen, and, and it was kind of lost in the dissection. Uh, there's a piece of it right there, but it didn't even take up any of the blue color. Here you can see a piece of it way up here. Uh, so I'm not going to follow that back any further because it doesn't do us any good to try to follow it. It was so tiny. Uh, so here's the vas deferens on the left. Uh, what you can really note now, which is kind of cool about this, same like in the humans, it's wrapping around the ureter. And so this is the ureter that's going into the urinary bladder. So this is the ureter on, going to the left kidney. And on the other side, th there's the ureter uh, that went to the uh, right kidney, and there's the vas deferens wrapping around it. So it's kind of interesting to see how the both vas on this side, and let me get another pro over here, and come on, John. On this side, wrapping around the vas deferens and going posterior to the kidney. Now, once it's posterior to the kidney, I mean to the urinary bladder, I'm sorry, going posterior to the urinary bladder. Now, once it's posterior to the urinary bladder, it's going to descend and, and head straight down, looking for the urethra. The posterior side of the ureth urethra uh, right there is where you can see them. There's the right one. There's the left one. And so what's it looking for? It's looking for the prostate. So right there, you can see a swollen area right there. And, and there's the left one going into the prostate from the left side. And then here's the right one going into the prostate from the right side. And you see, it can follow it all the way from this to this as it looped around the ureter. I hope you can follow that in the pictures. Uh, so there is the prostate. And that's it. That is the reproductive system of the uh, male cat.